wants us to build computers. You know? Intel will say, we can't say no to our uh, customer. That's bad, right? So we will build computers up in Oregon. In process of building computers, we'll learn everything about what the real cost of the motherboard is, which is what Compaq does. So we knew their inside detail by doing things ourselves. And we learned that they are actually charging more money. So we built our own mother card. I took that in my bag with me. And I told him, you know, by the way, if you're not ready, we can supply you the whole damn thing. <laughs> That's what really, I could see his face is red, <laughs> he's got sweat, and I thought you know, if he had a gun, he would have shot me. Because that's what they do for a living. What I'm telling him is, you don't need to do anything. We'll give you the whole thing. <laughs> he took me out and I came and uh, Andy Grove asked me, well, how did it go? And I told him, I said, he said, but we, we must sell more time. He was absolutely ruthlessly focused man. Somebody talked about focus. Absolutely focus works. And he told me, he said, you still have to ramp Pentium and sell millions of even if they don't need 10,000 of them. I personally remember me going into, there was a store called Comp USA, just like your Best Buy, these stores are gone. And on a Saturday, Sunday morning, I'll go in my shorts and a t-shirt with a couple of my guys, and we'll ring a bell, and all these people who are just come with their families and they're looking for things, they'll just wonder, who are these jokers, what are they saying? We'll collect them. We'll tell them, if you just listen to us for five minutes, we'll give you a keychain. The keychain had all the bad Pentiums that didn't work. Remember, I had a Pentium bar. <laughs> These are the keychains made out of that. So, you know, if you stay here for five minutes, you'll get a keychain. And a lot of people just want a keychain. You know? And then we will run a 486 side-by-side -side of Pentium. And lo and behold, the customers would go to CompUSA store manager and say, I want to buy a Pentium computer. There's a compact Pentium. And they say, no, compact doesn't make Pentium. The Comp USA chief called Eckert Pfeiffer and said, I want on my shelves a compact Pentium computer. And the reason we know that is Eckert Pfeiffer called Andy Grove and used a four-letter word and said, you SOBs, you will never let up, do you? I'm going to build Pentium now because my customer is saying I want Pentium. <laughs> <laughs> Did you learn that from Bernard Shaw who went and asked for his own books at the bookstores? <laughs> no. I wish I could take credit for all of those things. We didn't learn any of this. We did these things from the seat of our pants. As we faced difficulties, we kept on searching for ways to overcome them. That's all there was to it. So yeah, there are lots of interesting stuff that I can share with you day long. Yes. <coughs> uh, my name is Rao. Um, in your eight or uh, ten plus years of the VC life, I'm sure uh, you must have, uh, you know, been presented uh, various business ideas, and uh, and out of which you you suddenly have a rigorous process of you know screening through and selecting the best one or whatever will the criteria. And uh, looking back, all these uh, ten plus years. Was there ever a business idea that you let go of or you know rejected that you think now is a you know I mean you regret that idea? I won't say uh, we regret. Of course, you know we, we have let go. For example, we let go of a company called One Two Three Meetings, which you guys all use, right? This was this is an India-based company, Calcutta, and we let go because the, the, the founder was not willing to come to terms on certain terms and conditions the way we wanted them. So we know they are